everyone, welcome back to The List. This record-breaking cold is downright bone-chilling, but Jimmy Rhodes has found some great ways to thaw out around the D. And number one, when the mercury goes down, heat up some soup and think outside the can. The Slurping Turtle in Ann Arbor serves soul-warming ramen, and a ton of behind-the-scenes work goes into every bowl. Emily was my noodle-making sensei, operating an intricate ramen-making machine from Japan. Hold it, twist it. Twist it. And then bring this down. Yeah, it's harder than it looks. This didn't work. Ah, <laughs> no way, hey, whoa, heads up. Emily took pity on me and slowed down the conveyor. Ooh. Boom, bam. Eventually, that day's noodles were ready to go. So what is my title now, Emily? Ramen Noodle Master. I'm the Ramen Noodle Master. <laughs> Slurp on, Detroit. And number two, belly up to the bar for some whiskey business. The annual whiskey taking event is tomorrow at the Royal Oak Farmer's Market. Doors open at 7.30 p.m., an hour earlier for VIPs. Along with liquor samples, there will be food, games, and entertainment. General admission tickets are 50 bucks, VIPs are 70, and designated drivers get in for $15. Proceeds benefit charities. At number three, we're heading to Livonia Stevenson High School for this week's student reporter partnership with The List. I'm Sydney Brobst, a senior at Stevenson High School, where a special program encourages students to embrace physical fitness as a way of life. This CrossFit program is made possible by a $1.3 million physical education grant through Wayne State University. It's run by Brent Katomsky, a certified personal trainer at CrossFit Forgiven in Plymouth. The main goal for these students was so that they can gain some confidence, so that they can be empowered to do this stuff on their own in their future. It gives me something I can dedicate myself to for the remaining of the school year, even for the rest of my life. Well, I feel like I'm a more healthy person now with like the choices that Coach Brent has taught us for eating habits. It's really like made me realize that strong is the new skinny. <laughs> now you're caught up and clued in around the D.